Hello, Keller Williams. Christy Bryant here at the Best of Austin Living Team at Market Center Number One. I am an agent and I help agents fully utilize DocuSign to make their lives easier. So I am going to show you right now about uh, one of my favorite features in DocuSign. I will say it's not quite as elegant as in Dot Loop, however, it does save me time. So I want to share this hack with you. First of all, you're going to be in DocuSign. So again, a couple ways to get into DocuSign. You could be in an opportunity, click on go to transaction, or you could go to DocuSign.com. I am in DocuSign currently. You want to be on the room side, and I'm, I clicked on preferences. So I got here to my smiling face. If I'm in the e-signature side, I'm not going to see this. So I'm actually in the room side. I click on preferences. And when I'm in preferences over here on the left side, I'm going to see inbox details. So this is your DocuSign email address. You can adjust it. You can see that this is an open field right here. Mine had a number, Christy plus a number. I switched it. So mine is now christy.bryant at mail.docusign.net. I would encourage you to adjust this, uh, make it to the email address that you want it to be, and you're going to save that. How are we going to use this? Well, let me show you. So now I'm going to go into a room. I received title on a property that's closing in a couple of days. I'm going to show you how I'm going to email those documents directly into the room. So I'm going to go down. The uh, room that I want to be in is here, O'Brien Yo, 4815 Old Fort. So here at the top of this room, I have the ID. I want to copy that ID number. So this is not the most elegant thing. Um, because you have to have the ID number for the email in order for it to come into the room. My solution for that is that I have on my desktop a page that has these uh, listed out. So I don't go into the room, I go um, onto that page, I copy and paste to that page, and then I look at that page, the ID number, when I want to email something in. So I'm going to email documents into this room. The way that I do that is I go into my email. Here's the email that I want to forward from Independence Title. I'm going to forward this. If you'll notice at the bottom of it, it has the documents that I want to send into that room. I'm going to change the subject. The subject is now going to be that ID from that room. And my email that I'm going to email it to is the DocuSign email. So actually, let me back out and I'm just going to type in DocuSign and it'll bring it up. So here's my DocuSign Christie email. Christy.bryant at mail.docusign.net. And I am going to forward this in. Now, it does send in the graphics, so like my email signature. So I just take a moment and I delete that out. I could delete out these other things in here as well, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go ahead and forward this. So in my subject, I have the ID from the room, and I'm emailing it to Christy.bryant at mail.docusign.net, and I'm going to send. It does usually take just a minute for it to show up. So now I am back in the room. I'm going to go into the documents. I'm going to show added newest first. And it's going to take a minute for it to come in here. Um, I could toggle between dashboard and room. That might help it to uh, populate. Most likely not. It takes a few minutes for those documents to come in. So um, I could also click here to go into this room. Here's the room I was just in, looking at the documents. So they're actually all here. Yay. Um, so this automatically emailed in those documents into this room. And then if I need to, these particular documents I don't need to link in in order to be paid. Um, I've already received the survey in the T47, but just know that they're there. And so um, now they're all my documents are in that room. I send inspection reports. Any documents that I need to, I just email into the DocuSign room. I hope this little tip helped. Give me your comments. Let me know what you want to hear more of. Thanks.